What's up, this is Rashad. If you haven't already seen the first part of my video when I was in Cairo, Egypt, check that out. This part is gonna be on Aswan, Luxor, and Abu Simbel. We're gonna see some temples, cruise down the Nile, and we're going all the way up into a hot air balloon ride. Come with me. If you're coming all the way here, you gotta do it right. Go to Southern Egypt and experience Aswan, Abu Simbel, Luxor. That way you can see all that Egypt has to offer. We left Cairo and the first place we went was to Aswan where we started our four day cruise down the Nile. Before we got on a cruise ship, we went to the High Dam and Lake Nasir, which was massive. From there, we took a small boat over to Philae Temple. The walls there told a mythical story of Isis bringing Osiris back to life and giving birth to Horus. The architecture there was built over 2,000 years ago and it was kind of one of the last temples to be built. After being there for about an hour, our underage boat driver took us back to the mainland where we could get to our cruise ship. Our boat was nice and we even saw an alligator on the Nile. One of the coolest things we did was go through this levee system which separates the upper and lower parts of Egypt where there are actual alligators. Coming off the boat in certain ports, it was cool to see the street art, but sometimes it was just people begging for things. That night, we went to Kam Ambo Temple, dedicated to the falcon god and the god of the alligator. There we saw the Egyptian alphabet written on the wall, and our guide gave us a history lesson of the different crowns that the pharaohs wore. After that, we took a pit stop to where they had mummified crocodiles. That's right, not just people were mummified, crocodiles were mummified as well. On day two, we took a long ride through the desert to Abu Sembo. One thing you can never get over is really the scale of everything and how grand it was. One of the crazy things about Abu Sembo is that they moved it to its current location. I have no clue how they did it, mainly because I was so amazed at everything, I stopped listening to our tour guide. I'm pretty sure he told us. Coming to the temple allowed you to see the depiction of statues, gods, and daily life. Then there were some pictures that don't need any interpretation. Off with his head, as we were leaving there, these Sudanese people who have a darker skin complexion like I do, they were like, my brother, my brother. And they got me to come over and like, they were of course trying to sell me stuff. And then when I got over there, they were charging me the same price as everyone else. And I was like, screw this. I need that family discount. I'm going back on the bus. So I just left and I didn't buy anything, but had they gave me that family discount, I would've been all over. The next morning, we were headed to the Temple of Horus. On our way there, we took a horse and carriage, which allowed us to see a little bit of what the city life was like, although it was early in the morning and most things were closed. But one of the things about this temple that's really interesting, it has a long flag that used to hang from that opening that you see. When you go in the temple, of course, it was the usual suspects on the wall, so nothing special there. We didn't stay long. Later that day, we went to the Luxor temple and roamed around there for about an hour. Big shout out to the tour guide, Ishmael, for explaining things to us this entire time. DM me if you want his contact info. One of the coolest things we did was we walked down the Avenue of the Sphinx, uh, which goes from the Karnak to the temple at Luxor. So we started to walk and it was two miles there, about two miles there, and then about two miles back. And as we were walking, we started to do the math and we were like, oh no, 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 we ain't walking that far. So we turned around and I know some of y'all gonna call us lazy, but look, we got our 10,000 steps in for the day. On day four, this was probably the most jam-packed day. Uh, we woke up bright and early to go on the hot air balloon over the Valley of the Kings. Watching them set up and then us going up in the balloon made me feel like a kid in a candy store. I really thought the sights from up there were unbelievable and I just couldn't be happier. Seeing the entire property from the aerial view really gave you a perspective on the full layout and how well thought out everything was. 
As it turned lighter, you got a clearer view of everything below and the amazing sunrise. This sunrise, I kept looking at it over and over and over. During the ride, we ended up going really low as well. And we grazed past the farmland and the sugar cane that was growing. The balloon ride was definitely the perfect way to cap a great trip. It was even entertaining and watching them roll up the parachute afterwards. Next, we went down to the Valley of the King's Burial Chambers. And they go down pretty deep. So you may want to check with your guide or the person standing at the entrance to see if it's accessible to you based on your ability. These tombs had the most amazing, amazing colorful artwork. They still don't know to this day how they came up with that paint that made it last so long. As you go from tomb to tomb, these kings depict themselves, other gods, as well as the local life at the time. Everything there was so remarkable, and it goes to show you how advanced their education was at that time. Big shout out to the queens out there. We went to the temple of Hatshepsut, who was the second female pharaoh. Confused at times because we were seeing statues of a bearded person at her temple and we were trying to figure out who it was. Turns out it's her. In some statues, she wanted to look like the male pharaohs, so she wore a fake beard, which is sometimes she's depicted like that. Thanks so much for watching to the end. If you haven't already, please hit the like, subscribe, or notification bell so that you can be notified of future videos. Later, alligators.